Hey everyone, I'm Colin Cole, and this is ADSN Sports Pro Football Report. And I'm here talking with former and current players about their experience during Super Bowl week. And right now I have K1 Short, who went to the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 50 actually, with the Carolina Panthers. K1, welcome to the show. Thank you for joining me, sir. Man, Kyle, appreciate you having me on, brother. Absolutely, man. I appreciate you taking the time, man. So let's jump right into it, man. We, we've been talking about Super Bowl week and what the experience has been like. Man, can you take us through what your experience was like after your NFC Championship game back in 2015 and what that what that's you know that that next school weeks were like leading up to the Super Bowl? Um, I mean, the NFC Championship game was just crazy. I mean, just um being in own, your own stadium around your fans and, and just having that energy. Um, you was feeding off them. It, it was just uh, exciting. Um, the drilling, it was pumping. And just to got to, you know, just to bring one back to the city, you know, that was a good thing. And then uh, leading to the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl week was, um, it was, it was a little draining, but, you know, it was something that we was excited to do as far as myself. Um, you know, you got media day, you got picture day, you got all this stuff lined up and then you have to realize you still got to be able to go out there and play ball, you know? Mm -hmm. um, it was good. I mean, you got, I've talked to a lot of guys and they just told me how to kind of go about it um, with the media, with the pictures and, and just being around everybody because everybody want to be around you for the Super Bowl. You got a lot of family want to come to the games. So it was just trying to, you know, put these in little different buckets to where it wouldn't stress me out. What were you able, were you able to, you know, find some normalcy in your routine uh, leading up to it? What was that like uh, just trying to get yourself prepared for the, the actual game? Uh, yeah, I mean, we was down there for a week. Um, you know, the first couple of days you get down there, you kind of like, um, you know, it's a breathtaking, you breathe it all in, you try to figure your way around and, and you try to make sure you get everything situated. Um, talk to the family that's coming into town, uh, getting them situated with the tickets, making sure everything's going smooth with the uh, flights and, and the hotel rooms. And then, you know, um, I think it was like Wednesday or something. You had like a media day where you go into this big room and it's just like everybody just in this one big room, just talking to you, pulling you in every direction, ask you all type of questions. And you gotta be, you gotta be on your pivot. You gotta be able to, you know what I'm saying? Um, be decisive and, and quick with your answer. So you know, it was fun. I mean, you saw a lot of um, celebrities there and all that, like Snoop Dogg was there and, you know, just, just having fun. And then, you know, when Thursday, Friday come along, you got to be able to lock in and, and get situated to, to get ready to play a game. Uh, what, what is the most unforgettable memory of that week uh, leading up to the game? Uh, I wouldn't say practices was different. Like Coach Rivera, he made sure we was locked in. He made sure we stayed on, you know, on task, but, um, to be honest, I think just the whole week in general, uh, just to be able to go to Super Bowl, to go through that type of experience and play in that type of game, um, it can happen once in a lifetime. So um, just taking that all in and just being able to understand that what stage we was on and um, the people you was around and everybody's watching and you the last game of the year, man, it was just a, uh, it was just an unbelievable season. You know, and, and that week was unbelievable as well question man so you had that whole experience everything kind of come full circle I mean you guys had an amazing amazing season um what was it like to get yourself prepared for that game I mean we know obviously what happened but ultimately you guys had to come out there and play and with all the distractions it is hard to, to obviously get get locked in but what do you what, what do you take most from that game like if you, if you think back on it all what, what is the, the the one thing that, that comes to mind about it all Taking a moment, um, just being able to understand where you come from and, and where you're at now, um, because, again, you can be in the league for, you know, 12 to 15 years and, and not even sniff a, a Super Bowl, you know. So uh, just being able to talk to a lot of guys, older guys who, you know, been in that position. And then when I got to Carolina, you had a lot of guys who haven't been to, you know, that type of a game as well. So. Um, it was it was really a, a, a unforgettable, you know, what I'm saying year. Um, and then that game, just to know that now I've been in the league for going on nine years and I haven't went back. Um, now that moment just is just that much more terrible.
Mm -hmm. Amen. There are plenty of guys who go through an entire career and never get an opportunity to play in a Super Bowl. And so, uh, and there are plenty of guys who, there, there are a few guys who have played in them and, and never gotten a chance to win them. So either way, you are in, in great respect in, in being able to do so. Um, so, I mean, ultimately, man, it, it's, uh, it, there's nothing about it that uh, is a gimme, right? So what do you think, this is 2020, right? I mean, this is an unprecedented year. There's no, there has never been a year like the year that we have currently. Uh, what do you think people will remember most about this year's Super Bowl, considering COVID, uh, everything else, man, as opposed to every, uh, all these years' previous experiences, especially your experience? Just knowing that as a as a league and as an organization, um, the ways you maneuver around what was going on and still having to give the fans and the world what they what they wanted to see, um, you take a lot of your outside away from these people, and you have to understand that now that we in the house all day, and forever for them to <clears throat> watch Sunday football, Monday night football, Thursday night football, uh, it was just that much more, you know, um, terrible because. They can be going through anything in the world, you know, and just to sit down on the couch and watch this football game and not worry about, oh, I wanted to go to a game, you know, but you weren't about health. So just to give them that and just to take their mind off what's going on in the world today, man, uh, it was just a, a unbelievable year that I think that it will never be forgotten. So going through it again with your experience itself, man, what in that whole aspect brought it full circle for you? Like what, what made the whole thing real when it came to the Super Bowl experience? Uh, it's crazy because, I mean, just leading up to that week, you don't know what to expect. And all the people around you really don't know what to expect because, I mean, everything is different. Um, and then you, you, know, you put these jerseys on and they have the Super Bowl 50 sticker on there. I think it was like the gold edition year. So like, you know, like every every little piece every day to, to the Super Bowl was, you know, something that you grasp and you take and and, and realize like, you know, this is this is crazy because we dreamed this as a kid, but we also know it's hard as a kid to get where we we got. So I just think, man, just over overall in general, just being in that position, being in that. Uh, that was one of the you know childhood goals that I'll never forget, and having the the platform to you know show my friends and family what it looked like inside you know the locker room and and to how Super Bowl Fifty and 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 just the overall in general, even the press conferences and stuff, man, it was just a, a great week, a, a draining week, but also man a week that I'll never forget. So now we are in Super Bowl week, and in a few days, we're going to be crowning another champion. Uh, what are your thoughts on these two teams? Uh, who do you think is going to be the X factor? Um, what do you think is going to be the outcome of this game? Uh, that's a good question, a great question. I'm a big fan of Chris Jones for Kansas City, and I, I, like, I like his game, and I like how he approaches it. Um, the Indies on both great teams, man. They got some both great D tackles over there. You got Sue, um, you got Vita who's back. Um, I think it's going to be a great game, and it's you know, everybody's saying go one, go two, old go, new go. Uh, I, I think it's, it's going to be one of those games where it's going to come down to the wire, um, and then it's going to take the, the, the limited mistakes that each team does. Um, and I can't say who's going to win. But I think it's going to be a good game. I don't think it's going to be a blowout. We see what um, Mahomes and that offense do day in and day out each week. Um, and same with Tampa defense. Um, but I just think that on Tampa defense, got to have to have a little more. You know, they got to capitalize on the mistakes that Kansas City going to make if they make any. And you got to be that game changer, which I think the defensive line is pretty good and, and they can get after them boys. And they also got some question. So it's, it's, it's definitely going to be a good game, man. I, and I'm excited to watch. No question. I think we all are, man. So last question before I let you go. Who is going to be the X factor? Who's the X factor and what is the final score? <laughs> How you going to ask that? <laughs> How you going to say don't pick a well. hey, what's <laughs> I think the X factor for 
Kansas City is going to be Tyron, and either Tyron or Chris Jones. And then I think the X factor for um, Tampa Bay has to be um, it has to be the, the corners. It has to be the corners. Either one, whoever goes against, you know, the Kelsey or or um, Cheetah. So. I can't say who's going to who if they follow each other, but I just think uh, the, the corners, it has to be the X factor. They have to take over the game. Um, yeah, score. 23-27. Okay. All right. That's kind of the middle of the range type of score. I, 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 so well, I, I agree with you, man. And I think, you know, one thing that we're not thinking about, too, is – and I've mentioned this a few times before, is uh, the fact that um, Eric Fisher is his name, offensive left tackle who's injured. Uh, he was Achilles in the uh, the AFC Championship game. The fact yeah. that he be a part of the game uh, and having to, uh, and not being available uh, against Shaq Barrett and uh, JPP, I think is going to be a huge factor in this game. And, and we know what the quarterback's blind side means to him. So I think that's going to be a huge factor in, in uh, allowing Patrick to feel uh, comfortable. I mean, we know he makes his plays out on the run, out on the edges, but uh, uh, when he is in that pocket, if he can't feel comfortable with uh, those those ends coming off the edge, it's going to be make for a long day for him. So True, but I also think uh, that guy that they put there has experience playing in the Super Bowl, so I think he held up his own. Hey, that's why the game's played on the field, right? I mean, there's always these storylines, especially when it comes to, to football, because it's always about next man up. It's interesting, you know, because we've had – because of COVID, there have been a number of guys that have had to miss time because of that. So it would mm -hmm. be interesting if these two teams can't uh, stay focused and do everything that they can to mitigate, you know, and keep themselves out of harm's way so that nobody misses uh, the game on Sunday. So that's going to factor into it as well. For sure. For sure. So with that, man, thank you, everybody, for joining me on Pro Football Reports. I'm Colin Cole. My guest today was Kevon Short of the Carolina Panthers. And we're looking forward to this game on Sunday. Thank you guys for joining us. Appreciate you having me on, BC. Oh, man, I can't thank you enough for joining me, brother. Take care. All right.